Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and I think today it's about time I talk about the crazy ridiculousness of Once a Ranger. Previous videos, I actually talked about it before, but now I'm going to talk about it in depth and also something I just spotted and I'm like, oh my gosh. So first things first is for people who actually should know is the crazy part is that. So. You have freaking Sentinel Knight. Now I know his real name. I know his name permanently now. I'm not going to call him the sword guy or a stupid sword guy, even though he's still stupid as hell. So, everyone, and this is just going to be rehashing, but anyways, everyone remembers about the freaking sacrificial Zordon wave, right? That Zordon wave actually should have got Thrax. Thrax should actually have been destroyed by the freaking wave. But the thing that saved him is freaking stupid Sentinel Knight incarcerating him in a jar. His chances are that the jar is completely proof. He's not able to get out. He was not able to get out and Good is not able to get in. Meaning that he just blocked Thrax getting destroyed. This is one reason why I consider him a big jerk. And he's totally an idiot. Is that. I mean, he could have been cool about it. He could have been like, oh, crap, the sacrificial wave. He took the Thrax, kicked Thrax right into space, and then the sacrificial wave turns him into dust. Look at that. Isn't that cool? But no, he incarcerates him, and apparently incarcerated him for 15 years. And, man, I mean, <laughs> my gosh, it's crazy. So, let's say 1996, 1997, they had a baby. So that means that the baby should technically be nine years old. And since he incarcerated him for 15 years, and besides, you know, space, you can actually, depending on where you are, time goes faster than it does on Earth. You know, time goes faster in space than it does on Earth. Which means that it could be a very, very long time over there, but over here it could actually have been just short years. So he turned from nine years old into, like, I say 30, 40, 50. I'm not sure. Heck, he could be a teenager for all we care. <laughs> I don't know. All I can tell you is that it's just weird that you actually blocked him from being destroyed. That's kind of messed up in a way. But anyways, yeah, the backstory is that Disney, they didn't really do their homework. All they knew was like, oh, Rita, Lord Zed, those are the... They're a married couple. We can just make a freaking kid out of them. It's like, don't forget what happened in space. It's like, you need someone who watched all the episodes so that continuity can actually stay intact. Because this is like an attempt to actually get fans to come back, which I was already watching. But that just made things like eyeball opening saying, what the not only that, but Sentinel Knight, and this is number two that was weird. Sentinel Knight actually, instead of replenishing the Ranger's powers, because for some reason, which everyone is hooked on the Morphin Grid. Everyone is. So technically, they shouldn't be able to do it repeatedly. On the other hand, he actually replenished their Morphin Power by themselves, so they regulate on their own. So if they regulate on their own, then technically, you could actually have just... Get the six ranger. Well, technically five because he didn't even get the six ranger. So he would have kept the five, replenished their powers. The six ranger would be missing in action until the morphing grids back up. Then as soon as the morphing grids back up, everyone completely has power. I mean, he can't power them completely, but at least the good news is that they have some of their abilities back. That was just kind of crap on its own but I'm glad that Adam actually gets to morph again that was like one thing that was like a big oh Adam I remember in space you tried to morph now you actually get the time to actually morph this time and basically have your time to shine again so that was number three is the fact that Alpha was put in a box and if you look at the box it was crappily made I mean Jeez, I would have preferred to actually just spray paint it the freaking lightning bolt onto the box. So at least it'll be like, well, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. Instead of actually getting cardboard and then, yeah, that was just, that was horribly done. 
That was really horribly done, Disney. That was horribly done. So, as for Alpha 5, this is weird because it's kind of weird. In Alpha 5's case, well, this is Alpha 6, but either way, any Alpha, you basically had a museum that housed the Astro Mega Ship. And in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, they took the Mega Ship and went away. <laughs> so, after they took the Mega Ship and went away, then you basically have them. I don't even know. I don't think the Mega Ship is still intact anymore. But still, the museum. I guess it makes sense. I guess I can actually make it sense that they actually went to a warehouse that the museum had stuff of theirs. On the other hand, it would have been interesting if they would have actually been like, oh, it's at the museum warehouse. And they're like, well, we have a curator who's luring them to the freaking thing or something like that it's like something icing on top but instead yeah i can understand him shutting down but he's just too useful to be shut down i don't care i would prefer he actually was in the museum and they're like come on guys he's in the museum and now like a power ranger museum where they have like some morphers some things that they find some yeah just many things that they could actually have done of course, yeah, it was in a different town, though. Yeah, it was in Agent Grove, and it could have been a drive. Yeah, they could have actually made, like, a little bit of a drive, and then there we go. Whatever, though. Whatever. So, the real horrible part of it all has to be the fact of they just set up, and I kind of dodged that one, actually. I should actually thought of that. For people who actually followed me for a long while, they actually know that I was trying to get K. Ruger, the American version, a good idea of what they could have done. Like, for instance, Tommy got his time to shine as the mentor. Now, why not allow Adam to have his time to shine? I didn't know that he had Alpha 5 as well, or Alpha 6. So, it would have been cool as hell if they actually would have done it for K. Ruger. That would have been, well, actually, Dino Charge. Instead of the Keeper, you have just basically Adam. Or heck, Adam could just be part of it too. He was like, yo, why not just throw Adam in there for free? <laughs> and Alpha 5 or Alpha 6. But I know a lot of freaking actors and yada, yada, yada and all that stuff. But still, it would have been something cool if they would at least have that in their pocket and are just waiting to use that. They're just waiting for it. Even if it's just Adam who's like, part of the go busters teams if he actually is the mentor of them for like that short episode or something i i just would like him to actually have his time to shine as a mentor and also get his bra a brand new morph get a brand new ranger form i mean yes he had black he has green he had another green why not silver or blue or well blue is yeah i mean silver would be cool silver would be cool white ranger would be cool something new you know just not allow just Tommy getting his getting his racking up. It's like it should be more people who gets racked up. Anyways, that's just an unbelievable missed opportunity there. That's kind of missed. My idea, what I did, and of course you guys can't find it now because I hid him. But what I was going to do is that for Dino Charge adaptation, well, for the Dino Charge, it would be the fact that in... Um, Legacy War, you would have Adam who's like, you know, you have Adam and then you have Gosei or heck, Robo Knight who gives Adam a briefcase and it has the chargers and the revolvers and everything. Well, the morphers, Dino Charge morphers, you give them to him and then he'll basically house them until the time comes. And then, hint, 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 hint there's freaking Dino Charge. And heck, you could actually still do the thing, but this time you could actually just push, um, I kind of forgot her name. Claire Blackwell, I think that was the character's name. Well, anyways, I mean actress name, but anyways, you could get her and she could still be the person who's creating the chargers and the morphers, but she actually will be in the background while Adam actually is the one who is the mentor. And of course, yes, you can have Keeper as well. So, I don't know. Missed opportunity. 
Maybe they'll figure it out eventually. One side note is that since Once a Ranger did happen, and I know that the people who watched it, audience who watched it is still kind of kids, I guess maybe in two decades, they might actually demand to have a figure arts of the Black Ranger with the overdrive armor on. That would be cool. Yeah, get the overdrive armor on him. He gets to come with the blaster, and he comes with his axe. I mean, well, we already did the armor Black Ranger, so why not do him too? But anyways, that's about all I gotta say. So I'm gonna web out. But tell me what you guys think. Peace.